เราต้องขอบคุณแขกรับเชิญสุดพิเศษนะครับชาลูชัปปุยครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับที่ so personal we come into my interview so what yes. is your experience that you get from ACL uh I mean it was my My fourth time I played Champions League, two times Buriram, one qualification with Nong Thong, and now with Thai Port. So, what I experience is that that yeah, uh, Thailand have to adapt. Uh, Thailand have to get better because uh, if you see our group, normally we should make it to the next round, and we had big problem again, um, Kichi. So. It shows me that uh, the other countries, the other teams, they adapt, they get better. You can see now Vietnam is very, very strong national team, and our national team we have a little bit problem. But I'm pretty sure we have the quality and the players to get better, uh, to be stronger, and to be number one again in Southeast Asia. But for me, it was a nice experience. Um, that's why it's one of the reason why I choose Thai Port. Uh, I want to play Champions League. I want to play against the best. I was a little bit sad because I worked really, really hard uh, in off season to be a starter to play a lot in Champions League. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity, but I think the last game against a yeah not a strong Guangzhou. I showed what is my what my quality is, and I hope now with the new coach, uh, I will have uh, more chance, more opportunities to help Thai Port. Okay. So, uh, the last game you have scored a goal, right? Yeah. Congratulations for that goal. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. felt good. <laughs> so next is the physical condition of your, your yourself. Uh, now you have you are already fit 100% hundred percent. Any injury? No, 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 zero injury. I'm, I'm taking care really good. Right now, it's just a little bit difficult because our preseason is very, very long already. Because we play Champions League and now postpone the league uh, for one month. And but really happy to get the news a couple of days ago that the league will start 3rd September. So now you have a target. Right now, it's. A few friendly games left. Uh, we train quite hard. I still do my extra training, and I find my motivation again because now we know we will start the league. You know, I mean, when you don't know when the league start, you hear news. Maybe next year, like this, was very difficult to to motivate you. You know, to keep fighting every day, to focus on football. So that's why I was really happy when the couple of days ago they say, uh, "Yeah, we will play." And uh, right now. With the new coach, uh, new chance. Um, it's I know I give everything, and that's the most important. Then we will see what's happening. Okay. So, what is your expectation for the next season? Uh, for me, next season is very, very important. I said that it's already last year, but last year with COVID and everything was a little bit difficult. Also, with my situation in Thai Port last year, it was a little bit difficult. But like I said, I'm a fighter. I I I will not give up. Um, when I when I don't play and I'm still angry, I know I'm I still love football. If this not happen again, I I better stop playing football. So so it shows me that I I still want to play, still want to fight and. I'm I'm looking forward for this season. It will be very special again because we we play away all games in Buriram, Chiang Mai, uh, very far. We don't know now how how they plan, how we travel. You know, if we stay home and go there, or if we stay camp again. Um, so let's see. But I'm happy to play games. That's the most important, and uh, we will see. Uh, what is your most Position that you want to play. Um, I want to play midfield, uh, box to box. Um, I want to control the game. I want to have influence in uh, attacking. Mm, 
I want to help the team win and I think this is my position, box to box, what I play the national team, what I play, what I try to play now. It also depends the system with the new coach, you know. Before we played 4-4-2, this was not so my 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 system. I prefer 4-3-3 or 3-5-2. Uh, but in the end, it doesn't matter. I just want to play and help the team, yes. As we know, you have a ma many, many fans that follow you. So how do you feel that you being like a kind of say that superstar? How do you feel that have any potential for yourself? I mean, um, you know, um, it, it's a super, super nice feeling uh, to get all the love, to get all the support. Even I didn't play so much the last couple of years and uh, I'm not playing national team for the last couple of years and still have so much fans. It shows me that, yeah, that I did really well uh, before and uh, that I changed a lot of the football culture that fans come watch, uh, even they don't know football, you know, uh, especially girls, of course. And But in the end, uh, like I said, I didn't choose to be superstar. It's not like I, I wanted that. I just wanted to play, play good football and win titles. But of course, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky and thankful uh, to be in this position where Yeah, where I can uh, have influence in younger kids. Uh, I am just saying, like, two days ago, uh, Tyports got a new young player in the team and he came up to me and said, hey, you are my idol. So it was it was a nice, it's super nice feeling and makes me proud. And it shows me that when you work hard, it pays off. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a nice feeling. Thankful. Do you have any expectation to be playing for the Thai national team? Yes, yes. I mean, I always say I play. I'm ready. I'm. I. I want to play uh, for national team. This is <clears throat> the biggest thing in football when you can represent your country, international. And uh, I know. I know. It's. It's very difficult. Uh, we have great players. Especially my position, we have a lot of good players and in the end it's up to the coach, it's up to you, how you perform, you have to play, you have to play good and uh, like I said, I, I will never stop until I'm there and I'm pretty sure if I play every single game for six months, I will be back. So, so right now I'm focusing on Thaiport and Focusing on showing the new coach that I'm ready, that he can trust me, and then we will see. So the last question is about your lifestyle, your fashion. Yeah. That you actually yeah. like it. I uh, yeah. Um, lifestyle is very important for me. Um, I have a beautiful fiance, and uh, we love to dress up uh, to go sometimes for a nice dinner we still both very young and no kids yet so uh, we love to enjoy the time together i love to be with her uh, right now i'm i'm um, alone in thailand so i can focus on football like i'm always focusing on football but i mean anyway anything is close but my lifestyle is very important i love shoes i love to look good I always say, if you look good, you play good. If you play good, you got paid good. So, so this is how it is. And um, I'm, it's my style. I like what I I like with my eyes. And for me, it's really nice to see when young kids or young younger players try to not copy you, but get the idea from you. I can see now more ties like to wear essential or like to more invest in clothes or in shoes and makes me proud but yeah in the end i had idols i look up to old odell beckham jr to david beckham to american sport sportlers so it's always like this so i'm 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 good yeah it's me like you are inspiration for the younger kids that growing up now i hope i hope uh, this is what i want i want to be a uh, inspiration on the field, off the field. 
uh, but of course more on the field. Uh, I want to inspire them to never give up, to enjoy every single moment on the field because life or you can get injured, it can change, it can change very fast, you know. And I want to also in inspire not only in football, in general, in everything. Follow your dreams, uh, work hard for your dreams and don't give up. So, yeah, it's it's something I'm lucky to be. I have the social social network that can help me to inspire and uh, I will do that as long as I can. So, the last thing, can you say something to Thai Port fans or Thailand national team? Fans? Yeah. And yeah, I'm just. Uh, you are still in Thai court. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'm just want to say uh, we will be always thankful for all the fans. We miss them. Yeah, we hope we will have you back soon in the stadium because without fans, it's not it's not the same. And always. Uh, Thankful for your supports, international, like I mean, Thailand or Thai port. And we will see how the future is. Thank you for today. Okay, sir. no problem. Okay, go. Thank you for today. 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 หลังบ้านบอลไทย EP นี้เนี่ยยังไม่จบนะครับแล้วงงละสิว่าพวกเราเป็นใครครับพวกเรานะครับมาจากกัปตันอเมริกาใต้นะครับวันนี้พวกเราจะมาคอลแลบกับหลังบ้านบอลไทยนะครับอ่าแล้วเราจะมาพูดเรื่องอะไรกันครับคุณนะอ่าหลังจากที่คลิปนี้นะครับเป็นการสัมภาษณ์ที่ชาลีชัปปุยนะครับแล้วใช่ครับผมระดับนักกีฬาไทยลีกเนี่ยครับยังปวดหัวเข่าได้ยังเจ็บมีอาการเจ็บหัวเข่าได้แล้วคนธรรมดาอย่างพวกเราเนี่ยจะเหลืออะไรล่ะครับนั่นนะสิครับครับสําหรับคลิปหน้านะครับเราก็จะมีถ้ายื่นนะครับเป็นแก้อาการปวดหัวเข่าหรือเป็นการป้องกันอาการบาดเจ็บจากการเคลื่อนไหวต่างๆนะครับของหัวเข่านั่นเองครับเห็นอย่างนี้แล้วนะครับถ้าเกิดใครอยากบอกลาการเจ็บเข่านะครับหรือว่าอยากออกกำลังกายให้ถูกวิธีนะครับอย่าลืมติดตามคลิปหน้าของพวกเรานะครับในช่องบอลไทยไกลว่าหมูนะครับโดยกับตันอเมริกาใต้ครับ